Welcome back to the V Brown Bag Tech Talks here at Dell EMC World 2017. I am joined by a regular visitor to the Tech Talks, Mr. Janis Roslin. Welcome. Thank you so much. And you've been in this role uh, for a while with uh, the code, bracket, code, bracket team at uh, now Dell EMC World. What is this code thing? Yeah, uh, so I'm the open source community manager at, Del at Code by Dell EMC. The code team is an open source initiative that we started uh, almost three years ago. And um, yeah, we're focusing on making sure that EMC, or rather Dell EMC, is focused and engaged with the open source community. So this isn't an open source conference. What are you doing while you're here to bring the open source to this conference? Yeah, we, we've gotten that, uh, that question several times. So this is actually the, the third year that the code team is part of Dell EMC World. Uh, we started the first one with a, uh, a full day DevOps session three years ago, and then, um, or rather two years ago. Then last year we had a big booth here. We had a ton of different sessions regarding different open source technologies, a lot uh, around container technologies. And this year we have over 15 sessions here talking about container nice. technologies and open source in general and how Dell EMC is well, involved in the open source community. So we're, we're talking about uh, Docker technologies, we're talking about Kubernetes, we're talking about Mesosphere, and of course we're talking about our open source projects that we're um, showcasing here, Rexray, Lib Storage, and the future of container and storage technologies, a project that we're working together with other organizations and enterprises as well on uh, that we call the Container Storage Interface, or CSI for short. So you talk quite a lot through that as being EMC code, um, Dell EMC code. I'm so used to, to the old, some of the brands I've got straight away as, as combined, but that, one's, that one I haven't had so often. You talked about code as being community. What, what sort of extent is that? Is this an internal facing community? Is this uh, being open source? I'm assuming it's a pretty inclusive outward facing community. Yeah, uh, almost two years ago, I started a um, code community Slack team. Uh, I wanted to have a place for everyone to come and, and talk to us, talk to the developers on the team, uh, talk to other within Dell EMC around open source, and then it quickly evolved into being both internal and external. We opened up invitations so anyone could invite themselves to the community. <laughs> and uh, yeah, right um, before the show started, we broke 3,200 people within the community. Nice. So we're over 3,200 people within the code community right now, and then we're all open source aficionados. We want to talk about open source technologies. We want to talk about uh, container technologies, of course. Mm -hmm. But if you want, if you would rather talk about hacking on a Raspberry Pi or yeah. uh, creating a really cool uh, open source passing software for your drones. Uh, as we can see behind us here, uh, or any other open source technology that you want to talk to, uh, talk about, or maybe learn programming, uh, we have a ton of different people in there. So of course we have Dell EMC employees, but the majority are external people. So we have customers, we have partners, we have random people on the internet that are joining us, and we have, of course we have a ton of competitors in there as well. Some of them actually working together with us on our open source project. Actively contributing to a exactly. Dell EMC open source project exactly. from a competitor. Exactly. That's nice. Yeah, so it's been, it's been a, a real blast these past two years to build out this community. And, and we, particularly uh, starting from EMC that is not known, certainly wasn't two years ago, known for having any appetite for anything open source and, and communist like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're, um, we're super, super happy to be very inclusive and we make sure that everyone adheres to the code of conduct so everyone um, essentially is being nice to one another. Um, we don't tolerate any type of harassment or anything like that and if we see anything of yeah. course we make swift judgment. Now one of the projects you mentioned was also mentioned in this morning's keynote which was, yeah. was Rexray which I think is the, the most well-known and widely deployed of the projects that is, that is under the, the code umbrella. Yeah, so Rexray is a project that we've been working on for quite some time now. It's a container storage orchestration engine, essentially making sure that you can run your stateful applications in containers on top of um, any type of storage. So we want to make sure that you can run your databases, your, your big data databases, or your MySQL, Postgres, and what have you, mm -hmm. um, in inside containers on top of any type of storage infrastructure. 
and, by and this is where you're getting that competitors being involved and, and jumping on the container train through Rex, Rex right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we, we see it more as a, a cooperation than a competition because, uh, because we want to come uh, cooperate with everyone essentially. Yeah. So we, we've had uh, several community contributions to the project. So we now support uh, a wide variety of public cloud providers. So we have um, DigitalOcean, AWS, Google Compute Engine, uh, Azure. We uh, just got in OpenStack support again now in Rexray 0.9 that was just released from a um, uh, from two individuals. One of them who's at CERN, um, right. which is pretty cool actually. Mm -hmm. But we've had several community contributions like that in the past couple of months, and we're super super grateful for the community to be so so appreciative and cooperative, uh, and it. It's an amazing feeling to, to have the community really band together around a project like this. I have to say, I completely understand what it's like to have a community band together behind <laughs> something. Yes. So, if people want to get involved and want to both learn from and contribute to code, how do they go about that? Where are their entry points? And, and really, what kinds of people are going to be contributing and, and consuming out of the projects? Yeah, uh, that's, a, that's a great question. Um, first of all, if you want to try out our projects, we have a labs repository. So if you head over to github.com slash codelemc slash labs, uh, it's an open source repository where you can easily try out different labs with different technologies. So we can uh, so you can set up uh, Kubernetes together with Rexray uh, and And Scalio. what sort of infrastructure am I going to need to be able to play with that? You can run it on your laptop or on a public cloud provider. So we provide step-by-step -step guidance. Usually it takes 10, 15 minutes to set up a full lab with a full environment. Nice. We make it super easy for you. You don't have to dedicate a, a whole weekend. Yeah, uh, yeah just, we, just an evening when, when maybe your significant other is out of the house. Yeah, uh, but we want to make sure it's easy and it's quick. So I run most of these labs on my laptop, and they take between 10, 15 minutes to set up. Very, very lightweight, very quick to set up. Uh, so that would be my first recommendation. Head over to the labs to learn more about Rexray and the project, so you can try out, try it out with Docker and Kubernetes and Mesos and different underlying storage technologies. And then, of course, be become involved with the code community by heading over to codelemc.com slash community and invite yourself. Everyone's invited, um, and as I said, over 3,200 people. We're hoping to reach 3,300 people before the show is over. Uh, it's been, yeah, just join us there, talk about what your interests are, ask some questions about Ruby or Python or Java or script or what have you, and uh, yeah, essentially join the conversation. Excellent. So, uh, any closing words and thoughts about code? Um, you, you've been on the whole wonderful journey for from the beginning, I believe. Yes. Um, and yeah, where to next then? Where else is, is code going to go over the next year? Well, we see more and more uh, business units within EMC actually approaching an open source view. Uh, just today, we we launched another, uh, another big open source project called Prabega. At, uh, you can. Learn more about it at pravega.io um, through something that we call the Dev High Five program, mm -hmm. where we essentially shepherd uh, e Dell EMC projects into the open source space. Right. Uh, so Helping them with all of the, the cultural shift and, and exactly. the approaches and the, exactly. the tools to use. Yeah, exactly. And one of the most successful Dev High Five projects that we have to date is Rack HD, mm. which has several sessions here, lots of demos, lots of talk about Rack HD and is... And I, I gotta tell you that's spreading really well because down at, at V Forum in Sydney last mm -hmm. year we actually had a presentation on Rack HD by one of the guys down there. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, we're, we're super happy to see that they're, they're doing really well and of course they're part of the code community as well so all the developers and all the project managers and everything that goes on around the Rack HD project is actually done within the code community Slack. Right. So if nice. you want to talk to the uh, the Dev High Five developers and the Rack HD developers, you go to the Code Community and join the conversation there. Nice. Um, and of course, follow us on Twitter at mm -hmm. CodeLEMC, and you can follow me on Twitter as well at Jonas Rosbaum. Well, thank you very much, Jonas. It's been a, a great. I think this is your fifth time on the, the V Brown Bag stage, somewhere around there. I thank really you very much appreciate for it. Me. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure.